This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. SG. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. All right. Hey, go fuck yourself. Super lame, Chloe. I mean, super lame, fair maiden. Great uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to me. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. 
Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Are you kidding? Who cares if he's an asshole? Nathan's dad is a bajillionaire. I'd take that over poor and nice any day. Money isn't everything, Chloe. Yeah, that's what people with money keep telling me. But it's true. If you look past his money, I think you'd see that you and Nathan are actually a lot alike. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed he was when we tried to help him yesterday. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. <laughs> bitter much? I don't get bitter. I get even. Wonder which Bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. See? Another reason to be thankful for my, uh, Recent life change. You'd think having a jock for a brother would protect you from getting hurt. Man, I hope Mikey's okay. Did Doug Sports did just look so or did David uh, did exhausting. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David? Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig? In hell, I'm going up on that stage. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to... <laughs> Whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, 
May your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Of all the possible scenarios involving Victoria Chase and swords, this one is easily the least exciting. Did Doug dig David's garden, or did David dig Doug's garden? Rachel? Come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you? Don't you know your Shakespeare? Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have gone on stage and made a complete ass of yourself in front of everybody. Ever. People love theater. It's cool. High school is war. Theater is that part of war where you get impaled by a spear and you shit your guts out and then all your friends abandon you. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. Do whatever you want, but trust me, if you go on stage tonight, you'll be the only one out there not getting the joke. Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? What was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater! You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit! The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The gloomiest shirt of the bunch. How did I know you were going to pick that one? I guess Prospera knows all. Oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before... Sweet carnation, we're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick.
My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Seriously, have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel.
The best part of being kicked out of school is never having to worry about getting kicked out of school. Poor Drew. He was just trying to keep his little brother safe, and there I was, stealing from him. God, that Damon Merrick guy was such a freak. It's hard to imagine Frank being mixed up with a guy like that. But then again, I guess I don't really know Frank all that well. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my mom. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. Hey, I sat here yesterday. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this <laughs> coil would not infect his reason? Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried cried hell is here and all the devils are here uh, because hell is here <sighs> close enough but are they Ariel safe all right I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Uh, 
I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In gr groups. What's Juliet's ETA? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. The... That's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with Excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new, uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And, uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that in the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending... absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just the happened? Of your Was story that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, as we could do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art. I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Fresca, a freak show. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck. 
Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world, do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. First-timer, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. 
Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. So, what do you think? Should I run away to be an actress? Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night. Let's do it! <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it to that asshole, Damon. So, I didn't get a cut like Frank promised. You did what you had to do to keep Drew safe. Still, that whole situation was so messed up. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Any more questions? How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? <laughs> Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to, because I know you, and I know what you're capable of. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, you and me on the Santa Monica Pier, gorging on food truck food, smoking up, looking at the moon shining on the waves. Uh, I love this time of night. <laughs> don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me a promise. An e like a contract? Nope.
This is temporary. The deal is, you get it done for real. Then, I'll believe you. What if I said let's leave tonight? Really? What is this? It's obviously a sign! So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Thank mm -hmm. you.